Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, I am doing my April 2017 budget. So let's jump into it. So uh, let's start here with overspent. So it looks like I overspent about $47 uh, last month. If you guys look at my previous video where I close out the month of March, you guys can see I had a little bit go over for spending, a little bit of traveling um, where I went over a bit. But anyway, for income for the month, so I have a little bit over 8,100 um, of income to work with for the month. As I mentioned in previous videos, if it's your first time watching one of my videos, um, I don't disclose the breakdown of my income, but that is primarily from uh, my employment. And then I have some side income as well um, that comes in. So I had a little bit of a spike that came in from my side income, so that puts me up to the $8,000 mark for income for the month. Also for my income, I do a month from the previous month. So any, just for example, any income that I had uh, coming from the prior month goes to just the month ahead. So all this income you see is income that came in in March and it goes towards my April budget because I like to pay all my bills um, at the first of the month, so I'm a month ahead on my income that comes in. So anything that comes in for April will go towards May. All right, so let's jump into it. So for monthly bills, so I've already paid some of the bills. I realized that before I shot this video. So if I, if you see some in the outflow, that means that that bill has already been paid for the month. Uh, so for phone and internet, um, those two bills have already been paid for the month. Um, I did mention in my previous video I was able to negotiate a lower cost there between the two of those. So I'll say about 35 to 40 bucks um, on next month. So hopefully that kicks in um, for next month's budget. Uh, for AT&T Digital Life, that's my alarm system. Um, I haven't paid that yet. That's just auto debit so it'll come out sometime later in the month. Um, life insurance the same at 1462. Uh, medical and dental at three eleven eighty nine, car insurance at eighty five fifty five, and Spotify. There's also a Gmail, I'm uh, sorry, Google Drive and iCloud Drive subscription in there as well. And then Buffer is just my um, automation for social media. It just helps to automate some things for me. Um, so those are those categories. I think for monthly bills, I have about six fifty three in there. Um, also, I mentioned. Um, if it's your first time watching as well, um, my partner, uh, we worked out an agreement to where she handles uh, the rent and mortgage um, and some of the groceries. Um, so that's why this category here is blank. I just like to disclose that at the beginning just in case people are wondering. All right, so monthly bills. Let's jump into, let's look at the debt category. So what I'm applying to is debt this month. So 283 for the car. Um, this right here, the American Education Services student loan, I paid off one of them, my big one. Um, if you watch my previous video, I talk a little bit about that. I, it was my highest loan amount. It was twenty two thousand, so I paid that off. So I just have one for seventeen thousand there. So that is what the monthly bill is for just that one loan. Uh, together is around two ninety five. Um, for the Fed loan, one sixty eight, and then for Ed Financial, two o six. And then the extra that I have remaining to pay off to apply extra towards my debt is about 6100 So I'm paying close to 7000 this month uh, on debt. So that is the breakdown there. I will, at the end of the month, I'll go into details where the money went. So for monthly expenses, fuel, I have been under, I usually budget 75 I've been under. Um, each month there and I had some money left over from last month so I lowered what I'm budgeting for fuel this month to 55 to what's going in there. I got a little buffer there so that should be fine. Um, spending money 205 that stayed the same um, and then haircut money I was going over I was under there as well I've been budgeting 90 so I just did 60 um, this month as well and that puts me at 119 there so I still have enough um, to get my haircut as often as I need to. Um, let's go here to vitamins and health. I had to buy some protein this month, so I took some out of the uh, spending money. No, sorry, not spending money, but the uh, gas and uh, haircut money to kind of cover that cost. 
and then close um, 40. Like I said, I put money there in each of these categories each month. Um, I, the vitamins and health I've been using because I had to buy new supplements and stuff. Uh, clothes, I have it there, but I don't plan on spending it anytime soon um, unless something comes up to where I have to buy some emergency. Uh, but I think I'm good on clothes for now. Uh, rainy day unpredictable, nothing there. I have car repairs, so it's just like inspection stickers or oil changes. Um, I just have money there. Uh, that should be enough for the next round. I'll start throwing money there as I um, spend in that category. Uh, savings goals, um, I think I had, oh, this is just some income that I had come in from uh, just some side income. So I just usually throw some of that into my emergency fund, just have it go directly there. And then extra income, nothing for these two categories. I'll do a better job of trying to just show a breakdown of how much I have coming in from side income uh, for next month. I haven't received any payments there. I should receive some later, but again, that will go towards the uh, following month. But anyway, that is my budget for April of 2017. Um, that puts me at around about 50000 I believe, um, left for debt. Um, based off what I paid for last month, once I apply this payment of debt, that's going to drive me below fifty, uh, so I'll be in the forty thousand range. But anyway, I'll put the um, as you guys can see, I'll put the remaining balance that I have in the title, like I always do. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, as always, if you have questions, please leave them in the comment box. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And if you are a subscriber, please click the little bell beside it just to make sure you get alerts whenever I come out with new videos. Thank you guys.